Hello, I'm Daniel Robbins. Happy Earth and Herb Day, of course, also known as Chews. But you know, apparently that was a god named Tew, spelled capital T and then I W. Anyway, I'd like to share a song I wrote in South Korea, but first a little bit of background. I was at a church in Saskatoon. And, uh, dear church, they let me stay in their home. They only use the King James Bible, Baptist Church, Independent Baptist. And so we were doing this little Bible class. And he was going through 1 Corinthians 7. He came to verse 36, which I've shared uh, elsewhere before. So that says, but if, any, but if any man think that he behaveth himself uncomely toward his virgin, that she passed the flower of her age, and need so require, let him do what he will. He sinneth not to let them marry. So he noticed the word flower, and then he went back to a passage in the Law of Moses where he said, if uh, she's unclean and her flowers be upon him, then she he shall be unclean for a certain amount of time and then come into the camp. And then it also says, uh, if his seed of copulation go forth, he shall uh, be unclean until the even, then he shall wash his flesh with water, and after that he shall come into the camp. So at that point, and by the way, his children were there, one, a teenage son and daughter somewhere in her early 20s, I think. So at that point, he reads this passage about the man's seed of copulation going forth from him, and he doesn't really know what to say, so he says, uh, so I guess that's, uh, and I'm, I was sitting there and I thought, I think it's time for me to uh, speak up. Proverbs says, a word spoken in due season is like act, uh, apples of gold in pictures of silver. So I said, self-explanatory? And the pastor said, self-explanatory. <laughs> so anyway, and by the way, people think that the Bible has nothing to say about that topic. Well, in my opinion, it's sitting right there, the full mention passage on that topic. And uh, again, what does it say about it? He shall wash his flesh with water, and then he shall come into the camp. And uh, certainly don't intend any puns, and if you don't get that, that's okay. But um, here's the song I wrote in South Korea, and I called it Bath Time Religion. Give me that bath time religion. Give me that bath time religion. Give me that bath time religion. It's good enough for me. Give me that bath time religion. Give me that bath time religion. Give me that bath time religion. It's good enough for me. Bath time religion? Come, get real. Thought I'd heard of everything, but come, get real. I, indeed, with that last part, fully agree and take to heart. Getting real is where it's at. And it's time that real we get. So lend me a little rope. And please pass the jolly soap. In the bathtub we belong, for we have been going wrong, and astray to our own hurt, and accumulated dirt. Now we are like little kids, who when mama bathed two bids, run away and this annoyed, run away and this avoid, so that mama gets annoyed. Kids grow up, exhorted Paul, something that should do we all, and go on perfection too, what he said, again, was true. Makes us squeaky clean. The water, it's lukewarm. Then make it hotter. It's lukewarm. Uh, sorry, uh, makes us squeaky clean, the water. It's lukewarm, then make it hotter. Just lay back and let it clean. And some relaxation glean. How's this for a great decision? Take time from your television and give it to Mr. Tub. Join the bathing bath time club. Learn to love the bath time scene. It results in coming clean. Though at this thought some get queasy, as said Jesus, is it easy? Just let other hassles go and resolve to Jesus no. Never mind that ye may get 
more than just a little <laughs> wet. Oh, the freedom of a bath, of the straight and narrow path. Lose it all and jump right in. Squeaky clean will come your sin. Give me that bath time religion. Give me that bath time religion. Give me that bath time religion. It's good enough for me. Give me that bath time religion. Give me that bath time religion. Give me that bath time religion. It's good enough for me. For me. By the way, uh, once again, notice how the water in this tub lies flat. And yes, if you really wanted to get technical right at the edge, there would be something called a meniscus due to surface tension. So let's clarify one thing. It's large bodies of water that don't curve. They lie flat. Water drops, they curve. Meniscuses curve due to surface tension. You get a large body of water, then uh, that surface tension gives way to the water finding its level. Okay, so uh, make no mistake about it, please, that as I have said and will continue to say, the earth is flat. And tell you what, I'll say that in Yeshua's or Jesus' name. 